All right, we are doing the big fat quiz of the year 2019. Basically, the year before the world we know uh, didn't exist. Basically, yeah. 2019 was the last like normal year. Yep. Pretty much, man. Yeah. The, the year of <laughs> Popeye's Chicken Sandwich, the uh, White Claws, and Old Town Road. Yep. That's, the that's year fun. that I didn't pay attention for at all. This is no. the year that flew by. Yep. 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 This is... I had, I had a lot of things going on this year. Yeah. So, oh, that's right. That's right. I don't... Um, I will probably get... I will probably be of no help. This is okay. where my unpluggedness starts yeah that's where your media yeah that's where your uh uh my duties in life changed yeah your stuff became some things became more important than others yep yeah so yeah anyway so handicap of three for this one <laughs> yeah for sure man yeah that's what i thought all right three two one Hello and welcome to the Big Fat Quiz of 2019, the number one way to not have to talk to your family for two hours. You're welcome. <laughs> With the biggest Christmas quiz since Joseph said to Mary, what do you mean God got you pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet our teams. It's Beauty and the Beast. It looks like we're doing a live action remake of Shrek. It's Dara Breen and Maya Jama. Oh, oh. Sorry. I apologize for the Beauty and the Beast thing. I think Maya's actually not bad looking. <laughs> Next up, one of them sits around all day just doing nothing. The other is sitcom star Asim Chowdhury. It's Rasheen Connerty and Asim Chowdhury. And finally, it almost doesn't seem possible, but these two are both weirder than each other. <laughs> One is a geek, the other has a beak. It's Richard Iwadi and Noel Fielding. So we've got the dream team. I only recognize one of the other uh, four on there. Yeah. So y'all going to have to fill us in with these other uh, three right who, here. Who are they? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming there's at least one Love Island star between the three of them. Probably. Has to be. Just Probably. odds. Come on. There we go. There. Have you worked out pub quiz team names? Sure. What? Oh. <laughs> with the Maya Jama Dararama. Uh, that what we're doing? That's what we're doing. The Maya Jama Dararama. It really? sounds amazing. It does sound good, doesn't it? It sounds, sounds like, like a band from the late 60s that I would like. I can, I can stand it. Dararama, Bama Lama Ding Dong. Uh, <laughs> I think that would be too much. That's on a hat. I don't want to overkill this. Yeah. Roisin, Asim, what do you think? What's the name? So it's, uh, I'm very proud of this one, actually. Quiz Hurley and Huge Grant. Boys, Richard, no. Diminishing returns. That seems appetite. <laughs> Thank you. Are you going to be taking this seriously at all this year? Because I seem to remember last year you were just terrible. What do you mean? <laughs> the quiz. Why do you have us back? I never know why. <laughs> well, because one of these years it's going to pay out. I feel sure. Really? <laughs> what on earth gives you that idea? One of the biggest mobile trends of the year was Face App, which showed us how we'd all look when we're older. So, Idara, here's you when you're older. <laughs> Do I own a ship and make fish fingers? Uh... Roisin, I can only apologise for what we've done oh to my... you. Oh, my God. It's not good. I'm in the same dress, you dickhead. <laughs> What's good is it shows that you've really taken care of that top. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone here ever wondered what Noel Fielding's nana might look like? <laughs> Because here's a clue. Oh, God. It turns out she knew about the crimes the whole time. <laughs> right, let's get on with the show. Our first round is all about the year's top stories. 2019 is a year that's sure to go down in history. They all do. That's how history works. <laughs> Extinction Rebellion dominated the headlines. It's incredibly important we stop polar ice camps from melting. Because if they disappear, where am I going to go to hunt polar bears? <laughs> there was another election in December. As a nation over the last four years, we've had more elections than hot dinners. Although, to be fair, with austerity, that's not that many. <laughs> it was announced Prince Andrew will be stepping down from royal duties to spend more time with his daughters instead of other people's daughters. <laughs> right, let's get started. Here are some questions for you. Take a look at this clip. All I want to know is why are these priests attending mass wearing hard hats? <laughs> Were they doing construction on the, the Vatican at that time? That's the only thing I got. I feel like that's all the OSHA inspectors. That's what they look like when they have their meetings. Oh, man. So so is a, a sin and an OSHA violation the same thing? Pretty much. They, they treat it as such. Bite me. That's not even the Vatican. That's just the, an OSHA meeting. 
That's what that is. <laughs> oh, God. I can tell you it is not Bob the Builder's funeral. Oh, next up, we've got a question from Heartthrob, Luke Evans. Hello, Jimmy. Any actor will tell you that the most important thing on set is the catering. And that goes for any workplace. But during the US government shutdown in January, Donald Trump had trouble catering for the Clemson University football team who came to visit him. Can you remember what he served? A whole lot of fast food. They got a bunch of burgers from McDonald's, a bunch of uh, pizzas from Domino's. It was such a, a fever dream to look at it. That must have been nuts. Could you imagine being work working in the fast food industry and like, wait, who's ordering this? Oh my God. Right. That's awesome. A 45th commander in chief has been known to uh, love him some fast food. So it's really not that far fetched if you really think about it. And the, the kicker was after that thing happened, uh, he tweeted that he served hamburgers. To... Hamburgers? Come on, let me play it. <laughs> so what did Trump serve a football team visiting the White House? <laughs> Are you gelling as a team, Roisin? Uh, yeah. So? Yeah. I think I'm going to steal his jumper. Yeah. What, wouldn't wear that dress again. <laughs> it wouldn't be the uh, big quiz of the year if we didn't have an appearance from the children of Mitchell Brook Primary School performing one of their unconventional school plays. Take a little look. What happened now? The court can decide. We think it's illegal. I made my mind up. We must open it again. Back to work. Oh, oh no! Yeah! Could he have done? Genuinely, they could do a better job than the people in charge, couldn't they? <laughs> okay, so here's a question. It was Boris Johnson being told by Lady Hale that his suspension of Parliament was unlawful. Earlier this year, Boris Johnson reassured the nation that Brexit won't affect the things we love. All I want you to do is fill in the blanks in this Boris Johnson statement. He said the country will be amply provided for, not only with drinking water, but also with blank. Ooh, there's so many things you could uh, fill in that blank with, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. I don't know. Moving well, on. Just fill in the blanks. Next, all I want to know is why did a restaurant get the following reviews online? If you're in need of an alibi, this is the restaurant for you. It has been 18 years since I visited, but I remember it like it was yesterday. I was sweating profusely. I've realised that the Prince Andrew thing is basically a very posh version of Shaggy's It Wasn't Me. I saw you dripping on the dance floor. I cannot sweat. It wasn't sweat. It was grease from the garlic dough balls. The sweat's gone inside. <laughs> Where's the sweat coming out from? I was how, how do you fall down with this tongue? I was during the war and I cannot sweat. But you still have to get rid of excess body heat. He through doesn't. His... <laughs> it wasn't me. Maybe he plans a sweat. He's catchy. He's a traumatic experience and he can never sweat. For a while and now he's back to sweating again. Yeah. Yeah. For a dozen brutal years he had to ejaculate sweat. <laughs> Is the only way it would come out? I am so confused. Can he actually not sweat? <laughs> he basically said, I can't sweat because I'm a war hero, yeah. which in terms of excuses is up there with, oh, sorry, I'm late, yeah. I'm in the SS. Yeah. Really? I mean, not giving away this one, I don't know if we're ever going to give one away. <laughs> You've still got to write down answers. What's well, the question? We, what restaurant it was? Because why did the restaurant get those reviews? Oh, and then right. we all just started talking about it as if it's not a quiz <laughs> and I fully lost control. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know. I, at first, if it wasn't the whole Prince Andrew thing, I would have said Popeyes because of the chicken sandwich. But yeah, yeah. Now because they they talk about that, I don't know. No like, idea. Okay. In October, Extinction Rebellion protesters hit the streets of London. Here they are demonstrating outside the Treasury back in October. Wait, what is going on? What? Yeah. That was Extinction Rebellion. The protesters hit the headlines all over the world. All I want you to do is draw the Extinction Rebellion symbol. I've got placards behind you. You've got marker pens. So you've just got to draw the Extinction Rebellion symbol. What, from yeah. memory? Oh, what do you mean, from memory? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Yes, you've got to draw their symbol from your memory. All right, you've all got some. All right, let's go through all the... Okay, I've got nothing. No, uh, even, no even idea. If, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna try it. It's okay. I used some priests attending mass wearing hard hats. What was going on? We wrote, God hates Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> the way 
I don't agree with that. God loves everyone. But I think... <laughs> everyone, everyone except the hunchback hates them. Hates them. <laughs> 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 OK, <laughs> rock team. Um, we just, yeah, not charm. I don't... Uh, that's it. I mean, the first question of the quiz, I thought I'd take it seriously, you know. OK, did you get this, Richard Noel? What do you think? Probably not. What did you write? Auditioning for Devo. <laughs> <laughs> you thought, well, let's go back to the priests. And you thought they were auditioning for Devo. Yeah. The audience don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who are Devo? What's Devo's big song? <laughs> yes. What am I? Spotify. <laughs> OK, so points, points. OK, Luca asked you... All right, we didn't get it. No. No. Donald Trump served a university football team when they visited the White House. <laughs> Roisin, what, what have you written? McDonald's and lies. Data. <laughs> that should be their name. <laughs> Donald's and lies. Dara, Maya, what did you get? We just said straight fast food. Straight fast food. Well, yeah. that's, that is closer to the truth. Uh, Richard, no? We well, human flesh. <laughs> I think he served them human and then flesh. We said satsumas. <laughs> and also dips. And then dips. <laughs> He, got, he had some athletes that have won a competition coming to the White House. He oh served them 300 McDonald's. God. Yeah, look at that. That's a fever dream right there. Holy hell. Yeah. Spare no expense. <laughs> Even when you're dirt cheap, you get a lot of it. Yeah, bunch of hamburgers. Hey, hey, it's there. Listen, college football athletes don't know what the hell a hamburger is, let alone how to spell it. So, you know <laughs> what I mean? They're just fine. Burgers, Burger King burgers, Wendy's burgers. Abraham Lincoln cannot bear to look at him. <laughs> that's the truth. Points, points, no points. That's going to oh, be the evening. Here we go. Okay, you saw the children of primary school acting out Boris Johnson's unlawful suspension of Parliament. I wanted you to fill in the blanks on Boris reassuring us. Now, now, what did you get? What was the full sentence, uh, Dara? Uh, we went for a country we amply provided, not only with Calpol, not only with drinking water, but also with European shit we might miss. OK, uh, Ro Roche, Asim? I'm uh, suspending Parliament. What's, what have you done? This whistle box that says ample cream, <laughs> not only with ample cream. And also someone's written mermaid? Oh, that, no, memories. Memories. <laughs> memories, Jimmy. Memories, not memories. amply provided, not only with memories, no, <laughs> not only cream. with drinking water, but also with, with memories. memories. Brine. Brine. Bray. <laughs> what? The country will be amply provided for, not only with Mars bars, not only with drinking water, but also with cheese and onion crisps. <laughs> Ain't no way you said that. That's no awesome. way. I mean, look, it, that might be reason for me to move. Mars bars, cheese and onion crisps. Why not? Sold. Sold. Mm. Like I said, European shit will miss. Uh, <laughs> no points, no points, no points. Uh, if you were a restaurant, go Russia reviews in November. Yeah, yeah. What did you put? Prince Andrew visited there. You got Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew as well. Prince Andrew. Yeah. Hey, well, hang on, Richard and Nogon, right? Is that? Can we double check the answer? You were right. OK, points, points, points. OK, we drew out of our mouths while trying to figure it out, so give us the point. Sure. What do we have to lose, really? Nobody does. They know we're not going to win. No, like, they already don't even care that we take the quiz with this show. So. Yeah, exactly. Goodbye. This Come is on. for us as well. Yeah. Um, OK. I just don't like being brought into all this. That's what I don't like. <laughs> I want a Pizza Express from Woking. <laughs> we mentioned pizza too much. Do we need a Pizza Express? <laughs> Dara, did you want pizza? Uh, yeah, if there's, if there's a chance, that's... I'll have a latte. <laughs> La latte? Caramel latte. I'll have a tequila pineapple. <laughs> tequila pineapple? Yeah. It's actually my favorite drink in the world. Can I get an Irish drink? coffee, then, if people... <laughs> yeah, OK, so Irish, Irish, Irish coffee, coffee, extra sweat. Serve more. OK, so are we, are we just ordering... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we live in we're, telly. We're, we could get uh, an old-fashioned, but mixed by John Draper. Uh, OK, I, I, I asked you to draw the Extinction Rebellion symbol. Uh, what, what, what have you got? So I, I didn't actually know where it was, so I just thought, stop it now. <laughs> and then some, some flags. Dara, what have you got? I started writing Eeyore, and then I got this huge wave of pro-Queen. Uh, I don't know where it came from, me as an Irishman. So I drew a picture of the Queen and the crown, and it made it look like a stamp. That's very nice of you, Dara, thank you. I think mine's right, and it's from memory. From, from what, sorry? Memory. From memory. It's Here we go! You said it in such a weird way. That's that memory. And then you did it again. Okay, so hang on, why is, there, why is there cat? Because they're going to be the things that benefit. <laughs> <laughs> trees. You like trees? You like cats? Yeah. There you go. That's how you market this. What does it say? <laughs> From my memory. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done there, I see? Everything's better with a beard, apparently, so... No Fielding, I noticed yours isn't... I've got one. Yeah, sure. 
That's, a, that's my first attempt. <laughs> and I thought I'd make an answer. Yeah, how did you do that? Stole some gaffer off Did the floor, you? and I had a banana on me. <laughs> Don't you know what he's... Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. That is that's the way they draw it. OK, no points, points, points. OK, so now let's take a look at the scores. Um, with two points, it's Richard L. Uh, Dara and Maya have three in the lead. Roshin and Asim with four points. Yeah! All right, so we're at two, correct? Yep. All right, we're still tied for last. Hell we're... yeah. Still early, though. We'll be back in a minute to answer more of the biggest questions of the year, like how do the people from Ix Rebellion get to the protest? See you in five. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. Our next round is all about the music of 2019. It's been an incredible year for singer-songwriter Lewis Capaldi. He conquered the UK charts, the US charts, and embarked on a sold-out tour, making him the country's most successful ever Cabbage Patch doll. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie's appearance was the most watched Glastonbury performance ever. 3.2 million people tuned in to see Kylie's legend slot. Not me, I tuned in for the music. <laughs> the Jonas Brothers got back together this year, which I guess means the Jonas Brothers split up. The Spice Girls went back on tour this year. Things have changed. I used to really fancy the Spice Girls, but these days I have trouble deciding what order I wouldn't want to have sex with them in. I actually think they all look really good. Yeah. They, they do, but the jokes laugh, so... <laughs> right, let's have some questions. Kanye had a great 2019, dropped a gospel album called Jesus is King, announced his first ever opera, Nebuchadnezzar, and claimed to be considering changing his name, but to what? Brian. Brian. Just for a quiet day. It was yay. Just Y E. Yay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No, but, um. over to Channel 4 Newsroom and the one and only Jon Snow. He's reporting on one of the biggest songs of the year. But can you guess which one it is? Take it away, Jon. A major drinks manufacturer has issued a recall on all its products after witnesses reported a number of customers were getting loose after consumption. The non alcoholic beverage is said to be making people feel like they are shining and dripping with so much sauce, with witness reports stating that those who have consumed the liquid have quickly become incoherent, repeating ya ya ye, ya ya ye, <laughs> over and over. When questioned by reporters, the chief executive of the company claimed, it ain't my fault that I'm out here making news, and that she was not the baddest bitch involved. The beverage is soon to be analysed by scientists after experts have speculated that a possible contamination could be traced back to the goose. More information as we have it. Back to you, Jimmy. Oh, I think it's juice by Lizzo. I think Lizzo did that one. Blame it on the juice. Something like that. I don't know. Yep. There you go. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm, I'm just taking it here. <laughs> Sorry, Maya, you're asking Dara. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> that feels like to... that doesn't bode for this answer. <laughs> I know it. Yeah, sure. It's quite a hard game because yeah. it's not just like what you're thinking, it's how much you have. Yeah, we can't delete or anything. <laughs> it's been largely, and the pen is actually very large. Too much girth on the pen. There's too much girth on the pen. <laughs> what for the size we've got? The pen's too girthy. It's very girthy. Girth. Okay, uh, next from the rise of Skywalker, Naomi Aki. Hi, Jimmy. One of my favourite things about Star Wars is that everyone has their own unique style of communicating, from droids to Jawas. American rapper Cardi B also has her very own style and this year attempted to trademark her signature catchphrase. Can you tell me what it is? Yes. So, uh, what, what catchphrase did Cardi B a trademark this year? Oh, grrr. That, that one. That one. She tried what to... sound is. Y'all y'all can tell I'm of of the two of us more plugged into pop pop culture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's me, it's not him. Nope. <laughs> Come I'll do the hand I'm gestures to get funny. in the spirit of Cardi, like it's gonna be one of those. That's what I do all the time. Get spirit of Cardi. <laughs> like, Cardi spirit that porno sort of guitar <laughs> music. <laughs> That's what she does. <laughs> uh, why is this just so popular? Uh, you got something? We got something. All right. Got Chance with her hit song, Bad Guy. In the song, what does she say she'll do to your mama, your girlfriend, and your dad? Point for each. It's the girlfriend. I'll take your mum to... Okay. I'm the bad type, make your mum sad type. Uh, might seduce your dad type. Uh, your girlfriend mad type. There we go. There we go. There you go. Yeah. To the movies and your sister's streets. <laughs> I didn't know you couldn't <laughs> sing. <laughs> and the last one that was the dad. The dad, dad, yes, you're going to do to your dad. Refuse to pay back a loan. <laughs> oh. Okay, all right. 
Uh, last for this round, a music mogul, Louis Walsh. Hi, Jimmy. You can tell a lot about a person by their home. For instance, Simon Cowell has a giant sculpture of my face in his dining room. But this year, Ed Sheeran got in trouble with his neighbours for building something on his Suffolk estate that they weren't happy with. Can you remember what it was? I... Louis Walsh. I can't remember. I presumed he said you can tell a lot of person by their hole. Uh, and, and that is very true. Answers for everything? Yes. Here we go. I, I asked you if you could remember what Kanye West was going to change his name to. What have you got? Get me off Twitter as a new name. Then what was your one? Christian. Well, it looks like Christian McGonagall, which I think is far better than his actual suggestion. I shall be known as Christian McGonagall now. Uh, I shall only sing the sea shanties of Scotland. Uh, the, uh, he's like Christian billionaire, so I'm Christian, Christian billionaire. billionaire. He's a hard year through many different stages. I hated him, then I liked him, then I felt really sorry for him, and now I'm just a bit like, come on, Carl. But now he's Christian McGonagall. <laughs> <laughs> so you've gone with Christian billionaire? Billionaire, yeah. Chris I can give you that. It's genius billionaire, Kanye oh, West. Wow. What did you get, Roche? Pete Feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically what we thought was maybe, you know, you know, you have a fashion range, a cheap version that you put in Debenhams. Yeah. So instead of the Yeezys, he just brings out little trainers called Pink Feet. You got the new Pink Feet? Oh, <laughs> fucking bang it, mate. <laughs> Richard, no, do you get it? <laughs> Richard, what, what's been written? Prin Sorry. Prince Andrew, Drew, but Prince. Also, also Christian billionaire Kanye. Kanye West. <laughs> point, point, no point. Okay, you saw Jon Snow. Christian billionaire. Uh, I thought it was just yay. My bad, y'all. But, but then again, that's just Kanye West for you. Just yep. Uh, and it 2010s Kanye, not 2000s Kanye. 2000s Kanye was awesome. 2010s Kanye and beyond, not so much. You're reporting on one of the biggest songs of the year. Did you get what it was? Amaya, again, your area of expertise. Yeah. So I've gone with Lizzo, Juice. Oh. Yeah. Asim, what, what have you gone for? Well, Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> Richard, no. Brine by Prince Andrew and the Sweats. <laughs> Prince Andrew and the Sweats. Well, no to uh, to see what the answer was. <laughs> Go, John Snow. Yep, that is awesome. <laughs> Give us the can, point. Can I can I nerd out because I read a comment somewhere. Remember, um. That interview, like the the the, the best royalty in order, or something like that, with David Mitchell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy that interviewed him is this dude's son. Yeah, I did see that. That's pretty cool. It's like your best granddad at Christmas, isn't it? Love him. Next up, Naomi Aki asked you if you remembered what catchphrase Cardi B was trying to trademark. Roisin <laughs> Asim. <laughs> Two for a pound. <laughs> Two for a pound. Again, another very good team name that. Yeah. <laughs> Richard, no, what did you put? Nice to see you. <laughs> to you. <laughs> you thought Cardi B tried to... <laughs> she is sneaky. That man's dead. As soon as that man dropped, she tried to copyright that. She said she's never had and him say it. Also, she tried to copyright better out than in, <laughs> which is my catchphrase. I do know the real answer. Uh, OK, what's the real answer? Melory. Oh, oh, Roisin's so going to be using her memory. <laughs> it was, um... Oh, crrr. Yeah. Oh, crrr. That's exactly right, yeah. Nothing comes out. <laughs> we have boys now. Here is a team. Oh, we could yeah. trademark. We our could own. copyright Mama Ray. Okay, points, points, points. Jimmy, why are we getting on no points? points? <laughs> Jimmy, this <is> crazy. <laughs> what the hell? No points. <laughs> I asked you if you knew what Billie Eilish uh, was going to do to, respectively, your mum, your girlfriend, and your dad. Uh, I'm interested. Richard and Noel, let's go straight to you. What, the first one? Uh, it's your, your, your mum. mum. Get overly close. <laughs> Which you shouldn't do. Girlfriend? Girlfriend. Be passive-aggressive. Third one? Third one was dad. Oh, uh, wipe him down. <laughs> no, no, and no. That's him. What have you got? First one. Prank call. Prank call mum. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, no, not your dad. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Oh, no, that's it's weird. It's quite then. violent, yeah. Yeah, as if, as if that would be in right, the right order. I don't know, I can't and read. The last I... one, we've just written sex on them. <laughs> Do sex on them is right, mate. You might seduce your dad. What, what, did you get these, Maya? Um, yeah, but on the mad. Seduce your dad. Type. Yeah. This is where I got a bit lost. I didn't know if it was make your mama mad or make your girlfriend sad. Or if make your... The first one, it was make your mama sad, make oh. your girlfriend mad tight. Uh, but I'll give you, okay. give you mad. I've, 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 I've... There we go. Three for that one. We're going to say three because we oh. got all three of them. So we're that's three points for that one. So all that right. gets us a five for this round yep. so far? I think. So yep. far.
But presumably, if you're going to have sex with a dad, you're going to have to wipe him down, aren't you? <laughs> As a courtesy. A courtesy wipe. It's a courtesy wipe. Let's, let's take a look at uh, Billy O'Reilly. I'm not bad. Duh. <laughs> Three points there, one point there, no points there. OK, Louis wants you uh, how Ed Sheeran are neighbours. He, he put a spool into his, uh, a three foot input into his estate or his, or his grounds or whatever, but claimed it was a wildlife Free. pond. Well, I think, it's, I think it's very clearly a wildlife pond. That's a wildlife pond, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> and if we, if we zoom in on that, which we can do, look, there's the diving board for the wildlife. <laughs> OK, did you get this machine, Asim? We put down a large bingo hall. You think you built a bingo? <laughs> for the village. OK, Richard, no. Sex dojo. A sex dojo? I don't yeah. know. Don't, sex dojo. I don't know. No, I don't well, know. Well, it's a kidney bean shaped swimming pool. <laughs> we also put um, <laughs> uh, missile range. <laughs> and uh, keep cutting off. Points, no points, no points. OK, time for a bonus round. This part of the show, while I introduce a mystery guest, all you have to do is guess who they are and how they made the news this year. Uh, you can only ask them yes or no questions. Ladies and gentlemen, our mystery guest. How are you? So this is our mystery guest. You can ask him yes or no questions. Are you a dancer? No. OK. How did you get here? I don't think I can answer that. Bicycle. Oh, you can't answer yes how you no. got here. You can't, no, because it's yes or no questions. Uh, Are you Maya and Dara's kid? <laughs> Maybe. You Maybe. don't know. You're, you're here. Now Jeremy Kyle's you. gone, you come on here for the DNA results. <laughs> Are you regretting the decision to come? Yes. <laughs> So, have you recently, like, become famous or been in the public eye? Yeah, that's... I mean, I said that in the intro. You said in the intro? Yes, I yeah. said he knew this year. What do right. you think we brought him on? Okay, we haven't just sorry. plucked him out of the audience. Sorry. <laughs> you crazy fool. Sorry, it's my, it's my memory. As the only gamer here, I'd am totally excited because I know exactly who you are and what you did, and it was really good. And I OK, well, the more specific you can be, the more points of you. Did you play video games that win lots of money? Yes. Oh! What a guess! Oh, did you play Fortnite? I just yes. got it! Why is this you, an action uh, that you? So you have to write down, write down your answers, because oh. that's why. Because oh, you have to write down the answers. You've got it for everyone. I know you've got it, but you've got it for everyone, so you well, kind I'm of... I'm in shock here. A new lot could have been more pleased for me, if I'm honest. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go to Dark. I'm sorry, I know nothing about Fortnite, so... Nope. I can't, I can't help us here. Because Dara's a gamer, you'll know the full thing. Uh, yeah, it was a, an interesting Fortnite tournament. I, don't, I think I'm second, didn't you, in the in the group that you were in at the uh, and won a million dollars for doing it. It was it was it was pretty sweet uh, as, as a thing to do. Okay, so yeah. tell us what exactly what happened. Who <laughs> Uh, so, on the news, in July of this year, coming second at the Fortnite World Cup. And how much money did you win? Um, $1.125 million. <laughs> oh! I, I, I'm not sure how Fortnite tournaments are uh, pardon but how did it work? Uh, so, like, you had qualifying stages through, like, out of the months and, like, weeks of, like, qualifying. And then if you qualified, like, a top position in one of the weeks, you got to go to New York to, like, compete in the World Cup. What have you done with the money? I bought more <laughs> on my house. Oh. What? Oh. Huge. Huge. That's the dream. That is the dream. That's the cool thing. How is it in school? Is everyone not really jealous of you? Because being like a Fortnite champion now is basically like being David Beckham back in the day. Uh, so like, I try to like not brag it too much. Like, yeah. Yeah. not to brag too much. It's probably a good idea not to appear on TV shows. <laughs> a bunch of people think you're very cool. <laughs> I think I'd be good at it. I think I could take you. Just a feeling. <laughs> you can keep thinking that, Bob. Uh... <laughs> right, so everyone, uh, points, 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 right? Everyone yeah. got this? Yeah. Yes. Of course, everyone's very impressed by you. Genuinely, has seen you buying your mama house. He's maybe the greatest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Round of applause for this guy. It's amazing. It's amazing. Let's take a look and see what that's done to the score. All right, where, where are we at with scores? Seven. Seven, all right. Well, so, Richard and I have four, and they're lucky to have four. <laughs> Roisin and Asim have seven in the lead. Dara and Maya with 11. All right, time for sex. See there you all you for more Big Fat Questions. But, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for Jaden. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. Um, our next round, well, I say our next round, we've all... Uh, we've also, I think, got, got a pizza for Dara. <laughs> what? I'll tell you what, if you're... If you're sitting at home and you have pineapple and tequila house, you could do a lot worse than this. <laughs> Our next round is all about science and technology in 2019. Goody! Thanks, thanks to a severe power outage, Facebook and Instagram came to a standstill for over 14 hours in March. On the upside, Britain's most productive day ever. In July, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos settled a $38 billion divorce, although he doesn't call it getting divorced, he calls it a robust returns policy. In November, YouTube heavyweights KSI and Logan Paul took part in a boxing match, causing anyone over the age of 35 to ask, 
who's Logan Paul and what is a KSI? <laughs> Logan Paul eventually lost his battle with KSI. I assume the antibiotics didn't work. <laughs> okay, ready for some more? That last part right there, that, that definitely separates generations right there. And people have been asking us when we're because we're starting to do uh, sports watch alongs uh, uh, to do like MMA or like WWE or like that. Oh, I wouldn't watch WWE. No, no, nope. no. Nope. Nope. I have real shit to do with my time. Yeah. Sports. Yeah. What about YouTuber boxing matches? Hell no. No. OK. I will okay. never. Sorry, kids. Sorry. We're not any type of wrestling on here. I'm sorry. <sighs> UFC for sure. For sure. UFC? Okay, yeah. UFC. Okay. All right. Uh, mar earmark that. And on YouTube, be sure you're notified <laughs> on way you have a snowball's chance in hell of seeing when we go live. Yeah, that would be awesome. But yeah. Oh. Big fat questions. That's my favorite one, Jimmy. I really Thank, like you. <laughs> Thank you. You are, uh, you are a treasure. Okay, Thank for our this to one half of Bros, Luke Goss. Oh, Hi there, Jimmy. After the release of the Bros film, my social media went absolutely crazy with lots of people tweeting us about conquer conversation because and the comeback of course but in October Hollywood star Jennifer Aniston joined Instagram and she broke the internet with her very first post but can you remember what she posted there's a certain sadness to his delivery towards the end of that yeah, it's poignant it's quite nuanced <laughs> I don't remember what Jennifer Aniston first posted on Instagram and I'm pretty sure because of the year you had you didn't remember either. no no okay. er, did you it, it was a break or it wasn't a break <laughs> <laughs> something too early handicap go for it go for it no it's never too early all right all right my fight turned on okay what was jennifer post on instagram about according to people aniston's post was a selfie with her fellow friends co-stars lisa kudrow courtney cox matthew perry david schwimmer and matt leblanc okay she captioned the photo and now we're instagram friends too that hurts but yeah. all right i know it's early to use a handicap but fuck it one yep. every it's an hour hour and a half one if we use every minutes i think we're, we're okay we're all right we're all right yeah yeah love her you love her yeah yeah luke goss <laughs> jennifer <laughs> aniston. Yeah. oh jennifer aniston yeah yeah, yeah. okay what? how did jennifer net <laughs> you can't break the internet <laughs> she did she broke the internet no you can't it's like a system of signals <laughs> my favorite punchline of the night it's a system of signals it's Thank a lovely <laughs> Really nice sentence as well. Thank you. In November, Elon Musk revealed his new Tesla vehicle called Cybertruck. It was described as an arm and personnel carrier from the future. What went wrong at the big unveiling? Oh, oh man. Elon threw a baseball at it and it broke the, the Cybertruck, like the, the, the glass. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was embarrassing. So that came out 2019? Well, and, the, the concept of it did. Wow. And now I've seen multiple cyber trucks. Me too, on the man. Road. Yeah, yeah. It's, yep. it's weird to see them out in, in the in the wild. It's it's an insane truck. I've seen a car in West, out where I live. And yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. In fact, I saw a film, and I know him from Nashville, Rock, because he has a bar down on Broadway. Mm -hmm. he, he also, a cyber truck that was uh, decorated to look like the G from Dev Hazard. It was the weirdest things ever. That's wild. That's a weird mix of concepts right there. Yeah. <laughs> it does look it does look amazing. If you're a 14 year old boy, what happened at the big unveiling of that car, the cyber truck? They took a, like a, a blanket off it. Uh, why did this picture of an egg posted online from a known Instagram account in January make headlines around the world and receive unprecedented viral success? Mind your own business. <laughs> because uh, the challenge was to make it the most liked picture on instagram i think or uh trying to get it to more likes than some other picture i can't remember. oh okay yeah just to be make it the most liked picture it was, it was one of those one of those got it yeah exactly was that it egg is that picture of that egg a little bit of tequila and uh what's what what flavor pizza did you go for i i am um, just some of the veg and stuff like that when am i getting really good about it <laughs> do you want you want snacks of course, everybody wants snacks. It's Christmas. Okay, what from this year saw Jason Statham do it on a rooftop, Jenna do it on a jet ski, and Mariah Carey do it with a high notes? In what way is this a science and technology round exactly? <laughs> yes. In in the way that this round, this round of the sports this rounds, the, you'll this notice. The shit off the internet round. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say. Don't. 
Oh my God! What was what was the challenge of twenty nineteen? Wasn't I, right? That was no, that was twenty fourteen. Um, oh my God! Do it on a rooftop. I know it's um. Was this the Kiki challenge? Uh, Kiki, do you love me? I it has know. to be. I'm. I. I don't know. That's going to be my guess, although it's probably wrong. Dara is making a very compelling case for this round being bullshit. <laughs> you cannot break the internet, Jimmy. You can't. It's a system. It's a system. Of I signal. looked into it. For the next question, please welcome a special guest, Emma. What? Okay, this is Emma. She was released in October as a warning to the public. What was she warning people of? I can tell you she has a hunchback, red eyes, a protruding stomach and varicose veins, and she is Noel's mum. My mum watches this. <laughs> you need to take that back. My mum likes you, you dick. <laughs> I like your mum. You know I like your mum. Okay, so uh, she's got the eyes, protruding stomach veins. She was built to warn the public about something. What is she warning you of? She's probably warning of, like, the effects of... Commenting you know, negative comments on YouTube videos. Yes, yes. Uh, that's that's that close to it. But, uh, you know, just being chronically online, you know, at a desk and, you know, here, like this, like that, you know. It's a not... future, future look at the... At the next generations, right here. Yeah. Now it's not unplugging and doing something legendary, basically. Pretty much. Yeah. Brexit. <laughs> a skin tone part of the thing. The skin tone, yeah, but yeah. yeah. Okay. It does not look healthy. Okay. Everyone finished. Let's have some answers. Okay. Luke Goss wanted to know how did Aniston break the internet? What have you got? I said she posted a picture of her and of her friends. friends. And he was like, no, it's the friends. Actually, friends. friends, friends, friends. It's the friends. The yeah. friends. The friends. friends. What, what did you get, Roisin? Ask him. Pick. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston got her, her dick out. <laughs> Not hers. Not a hers. She posted a dick pic. Yeah, she can pay for that. Just She's got loads to choose from. Yeah. Richard, what did you put? I mean, what does that say? <laughs> You're on look, these teams. Look, I put F yes. R E N D over the top. Friends. OK, well, I could tell you uh, she posted a selfie of herself and the other cast of Friends is and um, yeah, her Instagram go. page crashed as too many people were trying to access it. Eight million likes in less than 24 hours and set a Guinness World Record for the fastest Instagram account to reach one million followers. Yep. OK, I point. wanted to know if you knew what happened at Elon Musk's launch of the Cybertruck. The bulletproof window smashed. Bracket, not widow, because I thought I, my handwriting is a bit strange, and it looked like I wrote the bulletproof widow. Uh, <laughs> the bulletproof so widow sounds like a great comic book. Guy. It sounds like, like it's the crime novel sensation of 2019. <laughs> Asim, what have you got? Um, yeah, windows broke. They, oh. they threw some stones at it or something. OK, and Richard, no, you this. Is you Elon Musk sharted. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's take an embarrassing moment during the launch. Franz, could you try to break this glass, please? Sure. Yeah. Give us well, the point. Maybe that was a little too hard. By the way, really? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Man, it didn't go through. It didn't go through. <laughs> oh okay. my but god! But it still stopped what? it. That's the point of bulletproof. It's not that it pings off like whatever. It did stop the rock that it was the metal ball that was being thrown. That's yeah. rocket though, because what did he expect? Not even a shatter. Yeah, they would just like bounce up. Doing. But the idea that they put bulletproof glass on it is the crazy thing, because one thinks. I need a new car, but what, what if I get shot? <laughs> no hope in that design. It's like, that's a design for war. No. <laughs> that's basically saying, there's nothing good's gonna happen. Imagine if Matt comes around the corner, it's not like, la, 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 <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I asked why this... Uh, you know, stopped the gun and not only through, but also by Twitter. Like, yep. he should have saved himself the embarrassment. Yeah, Seriously. but he... Dude, I don't think he's embarrassed. I don't think he gives a... Fuck. Right, right. That much money. And that's why he's Elon fucking Musk. He's he's Arv Dark. Exactly, exactly. He's set to be like the first world's first spy. That's like, nuts, really. Twenty forty or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That open. Yeah. Oh my god. If you're one of those annoying Elon uh fanboys, yeah, to leave a like on this video for Elon. Yes, for Elon. <laughs> Egg made around the world and received unprecedented deaths. What did you put? It was the most liked picture on Instagram at one point, no? What? Was it not? Yeah, it was. Oh. <laughs> did you get this? We said it released a sex tape. Yeah. <laughs> it, leaked, it leaked its own sex tape. <laughs> Two girls, one egg. Yeah. Two girls, one egg. <laughs> so Kylie Jenner, the most posted thing, and someone went online and said, let's beat it, 
and they did beat it, it has got so far 50 million likes. Okay. All that, I mean, it's a good looking wow. egg. Well dressed egg. <laughs> Richard Knoll, you got oh, quite a one here, I see. I guess you had control of the pen. <laughs> 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 I just put. Do you remember Mork and Mindy? Didn't his spaceship look like an egg? <laughs> Jimmy, don't turn away dismissively like that. OK. <laughs> so dismissive. Let the material breathe. Look at the Irishman. <laughs> it's like two days long. <laughs> Let it breathe. I Next call, him, doing I call it. him Dara. <laughs> you know what I mean? I you talking about me, though, yeah. <laughs> I asked you what online challenge... Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it goes to the point there. So we're up, we're up to three. We're doing good in this round. Um, what was the third I one? I first said, I think I was laughing. The third one, uh, the world record egg. Egg um, and Cybertruck and friends, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm, I want. I want to like how much, how many uh, likes it has currently. If 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 it's still going. Is, yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, like count anymore. What? Or, or my or Instagram is not uh, oh, annoying, but I don't know. Oh, but it has. Uh, Three million eight hundred seventy-seven thousand two hundred eleven comments. So wow! Oh my god, it, that, that's annoying. I can't see how many likes are because their Instagram's doing this thing where they're hiding the like count now. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yay! Did uh, Jason Statham, Kendall Jenner, and Mariah Carey all attempt this year? What do you got? We just wrote, did their tax online. <laughs> <laughs> are you stepping to me? Is the good thing. <laughs> Do you remind me? Oh, that was not even a shot at you. Richard, no? Uh, Jason Statham shot an egg out of his vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass him. He's an incredible man. No, 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 he's got it. He's what got it. Bottle cap, cap challenge. Bottle cap challenge. Yeah, yeah, no, he's saying the challenge. Bottle cap. We take a look. Oh. Yeah, see, he actually did it properly, but I feel a lot of the people that are doing it had it just lightly touched at the top and then we're just blowing it off. It's cheating. All right, yeah. Well, would you care? We have a bottle top here if you would like to do better. <laughs> no, uh, please feel free. <laughs> Can I use Noel's mum to do it? <laughs> Can you all stop referring to that as my mum? I can't, okay, I can't use that. You can't use that. You've got this. What well, if I break the camera? Well, gives it. <laughs> no, one, no one cares. If you break it, you break it. But what, should I do a roundhouse thing? Oh, do a roundhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Jumping okay. roundhouse. Cool. Yes. Bruce Lee. Jumping roundhouse. Okay, ready? No, 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 no. He's got the shoes. <laughs> 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 it's down, Jimmy. It's not. Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. you really need is a bit of slow, a little bit of slow and some music, and it always looks good. It's a twist off rather than you just kicking the shit out of the bottle. In an ideal it. world, but, you yeah. know, we're in a hurry. Yeah. It made you look very, uh, uh, sort of, uh, attractive, that kit. <laughs> so, what, well, sorry, for you. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Person. You look like an old man mounting a style. Can I you know about this lady here? What was she warning the public about? If you work in office all your life, then you might end up looking like that, I think, is what they said. That's exactly, <laughs> exactly the story, yeah. Why is she challenging so many people to arm wrestles? <laughs> oh, I think she looks like ask. she's asking people to dance. Yeah. Or is she going, come this way, yeah. to the printer. <laughs> You've never worked in an office. <laughs> you could have stopped and worked. <laughs> Roche, Asim, what did you write? I didn't think it was an office. I thought it was people looking at their phone. Yeah. Oh. Looking at your phone would give you... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Varicose veins <laughs> and Listen, a hairy just... ears and nose, a hunchback. What are you doing with your phone? <laughs> just sort of that sort of stuff, really. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Richard, Noel, what did you get? Uh, I don't we, know we what did, we said. We did bad posture in the workplace. I wrote Cruyff Yakov disease in a really weird... <laughs> OK. We got a point, Jimmy. We got it right, You Jimmy. did get our point now. Yeah. Bad posture in the workplace, what Jimmy. What the fuck is going what on? What is this, Jimmy? <laughs> what is this? You what wheel this? out my mother on Boxing <laughs> Day. What's this really about, Jimmy? What? So who's touched you? <laughs> OK, so Emma was designed to show how deskbound workers will look in 20 years' time. She's based on a work colleague report created by fellow scientists. Whoever the fuck that is. <laughs> points, no points, points. OK. Hey, hey. OK, so that's four of, of, of the five. We, we no. did good in that round. We're at 11. We're at 11. Right. Look at us. We're on fire this time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, three. Three. Yeah, we did. Well done. Chill your phones. <laughs> What's with the no points? Right. You wrote phones. Yeah. How is that right? Screens, same shit. You guys have really trailed off since yeah. Mamare. <laughs> OK, let's take a look and see what that's done to the scores. I can tell you that uh, Richard and are lucky to have seven. Ooh, Just ahead, Jesus. Asim and Roisin with eight. Dara and Maya on 16. Yo, we're there in we second. Are. Like, we're in second place. Solidly in second. Even if we didn't use that, that the handicap, still be in second. 
wow, look at us. We're doing what, good this time. What this will get our citizenship. Exactly. Join us after the break and remember anyone could still win, especially now Russian bots have hacked our scoring system. See in five. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. Our next round is all about film and TV in 2019. Series three of The Crown this year was huge. I like the bit when Charles met Diana. I really think it's going to work out for those two, but no spoilers. <laughs> I want to watch it. The opening episode of Line of Duty Series 5 was watched by over 11 million people. And for most viewers, it was the first time they'd seen a policeman that year. <laughs> Let's remind ourselves of some of this year's TV highlights. Hello, Governor. Oh. Tonight we go home alone. We party like Post Malone. Don't tell me Ashley, wake up. Oh. Yeah, we are never. A cool free thing. You need to back off and let me finish this job. Let's do it. Fire! Fire! Tweet that. Okay, I recognized uh, a bit of Dairy Girls, a bit of Stranger Things, uh, Mortimer and White House. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gone fishing? Yeah, gone fishing. Yeah. Um, other than that, I didn't really recognize much. No, I, I think only other one, I think it's Omens? Omens, I think. And uh, that's with the angel and the demon one. That was a pretty good, that was a pretty good show. Nice. But that's it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, Game of Thrones, after its eighth season, oh. during episode four, while celebrating the King's defeat, Boozy Banquet, what mistake was spotted by eagle-eyed viewers? Don. Dude, I, I didn't watch Game of Thrones, <laughs> did you? I didn't know it ended. Yeah, okay. Moving on. Spotted by viewers. Dance. That, that's my Game of Thrones. What have you got there? I've got snacks. Whoa. Oh, a hamper. So, yeah. Okay. Does anyone actually want any bread, meat, or cheese? <laughs> don't need any. We don't need to eat into that cheese sandwich. You want, um... To make. I, I think I made up the that's cheese. That's committed to I mean, we're in the middle of a people. But that's just become a theme of these big fat quizzes, particularly of the year, is just people breaking out food because oh. it's quite a long thing. Yes, 100%. Yeah. You got yeah. sustenance. Uh, yeah, I like yeah. how no one's touched their drink. <laughs> well, I, I think uh, the other teams have. I think Jimmy well, definitely has. Or maybe they got a refill. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, what a hope yeah. so for their sake. Yeah, we'll we'll see how their attitude is throughout, and we'll know if they got a refill or not. Yes. Yeah. You're like Jesus, but with carbs. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, it's Adam Lambert. Hi, Jimmy. A personal highlight for me this year was opening the Oscars alongside Queen. It was an amazing night for us, and my favorite speech of the night had to come from acting Queen herself. Olivia Coleman, who won Best Actress for her role as Queen Anne in The Favorite. But can you remember what she did when she was prompted to wrap up her acceptance speech? All right, I'll come. I don't know. Probably had something to do with Peep Show. Probably. Yeah. I, 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 that's the only reference point I have of Olivia Coleman. Yep. Don't get my own fucking cheese. No, no way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Richard, you're in charge of answering while he's doing that. There's so many different ones. Oh, oh, okay, tidying up with Marie Kondo hit our screens back in January. It was all about having a big clear out. What could be more Christmassy than that? In the show, what does Marie Kondo suggest an item must do if you want to keep it? Are you biting open cheese? We're having a cheese party, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to my cheese party. What <laughs> cheese would you like, Jimmy? Some from um, my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. For the next question, all I want to know is why are these people discussing some stairs in the Bronx? And every day when I come down the stairs, I have to go through a barrage of people. You got people coming from all over the world to come to these steps. This is becoming a tourist attraction. You know, this is our Rocky Steps. But I thought I was the only one who would be here today, so... <laughs> What's going on? Those are the stairs from that scene in The Joker. Oh. Where she's coming down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now it's become a tourist attraction. How unfortunate. Dara, you better be carrying this one because someone is just eating cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just give me a second. <laughs> For our final question in this round, it's over to esteemed actor Charles Dance, oh. who's reading an extract from a TV star's book released in 2019. Who is the mystery author? Over to you, Charles. I'm stood inside a little white tent. I'm sweating up. It's so hot in here. I'm wearing a one-shoulder strappy white bikini. 
<laughs> Thank God I sent the producers three shit ones when they asked what I wanted to wear for my entrance. I bet all the other girls wanted to wear white, but somehow I've managed to bag it. Tan's looking good. They've done my hair and makeup really lovely. I actually feel quite nice. Fuck, I'm so nervous. I need a wee and a poo. Why did I choose the white bikini? What if a bit of poo comes out? No one will pick me if I've got skids in my swimwear. Charles Dance. Charles Dance there. <laughs> uh, that, those are all normal things to be concerned about, but who said that, though? Bro. 2019. Who, who are the big performers that year? I don't know. Man, I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. It, it, like The Charles Dance uh, part is always entertaining. It's just a shame we never get who it is that we're... Mm, yeah, never. Yeah. Oh, well. So he got so much out of that material. It's amazing. Yeah. It's beautiful I mean, to watch him do it. I mean, you know, it's not, there's, no, there's no small roles. Charles Dance there, nailing it. Yeah. What's the question, though? Whose biography was that? How would we know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> ah. I've got some answers. You ready yes. for answers? Yes! Okay. We're still doing a show! <laughs> I asked what mistake was spotted uh, by eagle-eyed fans watching the final series of Game of Thrones. Dara, what have you got? Uh, episode four, last, it, it suddenly got shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely true. I reckon if you stop at episode three, you've had a lovely time. Yeah. <laughs> I've not seen it, but thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's <Great>. angry. <laughs> We, w we went straight. We, we coffee cup. We decided coffee cup. to get we one. We the coffee cup. Okay. Richard, no? Coffee cup. <laughs> yeah, well, you're all absolutely right. Okay, let's remind ourselves of how prominent the uh, offending cup was in the scene. I mean, it did. Wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> A coffee they're just, cup. They're just lazy at that point. They're like, guys, how many have we done? How yeah. many have we done? Say, I, I'm not removing that coffee cup. Whatever yeah. it took... Whatever it, whatever cost it would take to get rid of that coffee cup, isn't worth it. Yeah, no, and it, it, it might launch some conspiracy theories of one character in the show might be a time traveler. You yep. know, yep. Didn't ruin it. That was the scripts. <laughs> <laughs> no points, points, points. Um, yep. Adam Lambert asked you what oh, no. Olivia Coleman did when she was uh, prompted to wrap up her Oscar speech. Threw the Oscar at the cameraman. <laughs> and I'm not finished talking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, she did a terrible safety ad for BA. Uh, hey, come on, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> he was in that as well. I knew he was in that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hang on a second. Did Richard and Noel get this right? Yeah. Blue raspberry and did that. <laughs> Let's remind ourselves of her charmingly British response to being asked to end her speech. I, I used to work as a cleaner and I loved that job. I did spend quite a lot of my time imagining this. Oh, please wrap up. Right, okay. And I'm. Um... Blue Raspberry, they got it right. I ask you what Japanese organising guru Marie Kondo wants an item to do uh, if you're allowed to keep it. And I said, get you off. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Yeah, so make your lips hard. Wow. Pick a t shirt up. Nothing. Throw it away. <laughs> well, Richard and Noel have, I think, the correct answer. What do things have to do? Spark joy or... or memories. Memories. <laughs> memories. 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 Uh, you're exactly right. Uh, items have to spark joy. Here she is explaining it. So, when you hold an item in your hands that spark joy for you, this is how your body should react. <laughs> you, do you understand? Yes. The, the yes. cute sound that she made that I'm not going to translate. <laughs> <laughs> It does look like she's getting the nips. That's why we should, we okay. should be <laughs> Legally, the, we, uh, the legally. body... Legally. Legally. I only deal in the law. <laughs> <laughs> Leg <laughs> <laughs> um, how your body reacts, and one of the ways is boners and nips. OK, only Richard and I will get points on that. I knew this. Yes, there's a turn in the tide. <laughs> yeah. OK, you saw uh, some people hanging out on some stairs in the Bronx. What were they talking about? It's a stairway, and you can bounce a cat off it. <laughs> you thought you could bounce a cat 
off the stairs. <laughs> and that's what they were talking about. They're all and there. It, and it, just, and it, goes, it keeps going all the way down. It's amazing. Meow! 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 And you think it stopped? Meow! <laughs> Let's go. All the way. Okay, and Roshin and we're, Asim. We were a bit confused, so we just, we just put H from steps. <laughs> You thought they were talking about hatred. We steps. heard steps, Listen, we just interpreted uh, it in a much more... Literal sense. Picasso. Pica not literal. Yeah, Picasso, Picasso, that's what I meant. <laughs> OK, Richard, Noel, what did you get for this? We got it. The Joker dance. Joker dance. The Joker dance. You're exactly right. It was, uh, it was from uh, the film <laughs> The Joker. <laughs> Charles Dance read you an extract from a book by a TV star. Um, who do you think it was? Richard, Noel. David Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> you know, was from David Cameron's... <laughs> So you think David Cameron might have been worried about having skids in his white bikini? <laughs> that's, not, that's not the main <laughs> thing you should be worried about. Worried. That's the thing. <laughs> uh, what, what did you think, Roche? Dot, dot, dot. It's Rebecca Vardy. <laughs> Is it? No. It's not? Okay. It's not. And uh, Dara Meyer? Uh, Dame Judi Dench. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought it was something from Love Island, but he was really convinced. That Who did you think from Love Island? Danny Dyer. Let's go back to Charles Dance for the answer. That was an extract from What Would Danny Do by Love Island's Danny Dyer. Wow. <laughs> like, is that a different Danny Dyer? No, I think it's the same. The Danny Dyer. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, now. Whatever. <laughs> It's weird, Dara, but thinking yeah. about it now, it does seem like that makes more sense. <laughs> OK, uh, and for our last question in this round, please welcome the stars of RuPaul's Drag Race UK, Bag of Chips and The Vivian. <laughs> So tell me, how was, how was it being on RuPaul's uh, Drag Race UK? Dream come true? We had the balls, didn't we? It's been brilliant. <laughs> I can't get rid of this one now, though. <laughs> Why are you called bag of chips? Because I'm salty. I'll bat you a sausage for 80p and I love to be covered in daddy's sauce. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's a hell of an answer. <laughs> it's a hell of an answer. Um, OK, now I believe you've got, a, uh, you've got questions for us. What, what's your question? We do. Right, to be a contestant on RuPaul's Drag Race, you have to slay your drag slang. Yes, we know our realness from our shade, so what we want you guys to do is tell us what these three drag slang terms mean. That's a fucking mouthful, wasn't it? <laughs> I bet you've had a few mouthfuls. <laughs> <laughs> well, which brings us on to our first word. The word is gag. Gag. So what does gag mean? You've got to write that down. We've got three words, so gag's the first one. What's the second one? The second one is spilling the tea. So what does gag mean, what does spilling the tea mean, and what does... Fishy. The third word is fishy. Oh. <laughs> OK, um, spilling the tea, that's, you know, tell secrets, tell the gossip. The gossip, all right. Um, uh, fishing, I guess that would mean, like, you're desperate or trying to get compliments, like fishing for compliments. Um, gag, I, I don't know. Um, is it the, the character persona you're building up? Yeah, yeah, it, it might be. It might be that. <laughs> Who knows? Have you any drag names for our team? If our team were to be in drag... I've got a great one for Richard. What's, what's Richard's drag name? Richard, you are going to be Rachel Adahardon. Rachel <laughs> 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 is a nice name. You're going for Dara, okay? What would Dara be if he was in drag? Diarrhea O'Queen. Diarrhea O'Queen. I mean, I'm sure Dara O'Queen would work just as well. Diarrhea. I add something, Dara. It adds something. Yeah. I know a lot about drag, of course, because I work a lot with Catherine Ryan. Oh! Oh! Richard, no, have you finished? Is Noel still? I'm just okay. waiting for Noel to Google the answers. No! Yes. No, don't Google the answers, I'm just not. write down the answers. <laughs> okay, fine, right. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna regret saying this, but uh those who are in that community, uh comment below what our names would be if we were in that community. Yep. I, I don't see us ever being in that community, but uh it would be interesting to see what kind of name we would have. There you go. <laughs> 
So, well, let's see what they got. Okay. Okay, Dara and Maya. So the first one is gagging. Like, I'm gagged. Like, if someone does something, like, extremely crazy or amazing or bad, you're like, oh, my God, I am gagged. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. that's correct. Okay. Uh, you put what for, for gagging? We put, like, happy, which is the same, like, you know, like, you're just excited, mm -hmm. impressed mm -hmm. by someone. No, I'm mean, gonna no. go hard no. It's amazed or shocked to gag. Oh. Uh, Richard? Yeah, sorry. Richard, no? We put that it's so amazing that it's sickening. Is that look right? sickening? Yeah. No, that's incorrect. Oh, is it? <laughs> yes. Okay. Next one. What's the next one? Spilling the tea. Spilling, spilling the, the tea. tea. Spilling the tea. So spilling the tea means mine? So spilling the tea, it's like when you're like, oh, like that, because you've got some gossip and you're going to yeah. spill the tea. Uh, so like, yeah. Jimmy okay. is actually a vampire. That's the tea. <laughs> gossip. <laughs> That's the correct answer. Yeah. Okay. Oh, not right. that I'm a vampire. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't go out during the days. Fuck you. Uh, uh, Roche? Gossip. Gossip. Correct. Uh -huh. We didn't get that. We, you, we you, put a you dot. Just left, uh... We just put a dot. <laughs> because Number you don't two, approve of gossip. And then a okay. dot. <laughs> okay. okay. And then the last one was... So, Maya, you were doing so well. What's the last one? The last one, I don't know if I've got right, because I don't... I said, like, dodgy, like, something's a bit weird, a bit left. Fishy. Like, bit, so, bit fishy. fishy. We'll the definition of fishy. So, and what, what did you get, uh, Roche? You know, there's a documentary called Paris is Burning. Uh -huh. Of course. It's an amazing documentary. Yeah. So, yeah so, like, with your references. Yeah, so that's why I watched the show, because I loved that whole thing. And then it's actually... Looking fishy is looking like a, a woman, woman, right? Looking yeah. like a real woman. So it's who's the most convincing, basically. I've Correct. got that. But I didn't Google it. No, what did you say? Pretty, like no, a woman. got that one. Well done, no. Okay, so uh, point, two points, two points. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see what. All right, we didn't get we got that one. Last. We got we one. We got one. Point. All right, what are we at now? Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Cool. Yep. Let's go for the scores. Okay, so uh, in last place. Uh, Roisin and Asim with 11. Like We're losing to them! Yeah. Richard, <laughs> yeah. Richard and Noel have Remember, 12 in the lead. Dara and Mike with 18. <laughs> Let's crack it. See you after the break for more Big Fat Questions. For ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the wonderful bag of chips and the Vivian. <laughs>
ultimate trolling women's soccer. Mm, I, I want to say she brought back like the suck it, the suck it move from back in the day. <sighs> yeah, I, I feel like it has something to do with that. Yeah, or we'll, lock, we'll, we'll hedge our bets on those two answers. Yep. How did Alex Morgan uh, cause a stir when she celebrated her goal against England? Back in August, a young Liverpool fan met his hero, Mo Salah. He stepped outside of the meeting. The face is a bit sore, but he is great. He can't stop smiling. What happened? Uh, is that real? Yeah. Really? That's not right, is it? Oh, was it? Not Red Metro. <laughs> OK, here's a new pair of uh, Adidas kicks. What I want to know is, who have Adidas got to model these specific shoes? Why is there an orange slice on the top of the trainer, though? <laughs> For half time. <laughs> After undergoing hip surgery in January, tennis legend Andy Murray shared one of his X-rays on Instagram. Eagle Eye followers saw that the image contained what in medical parlance is known as a negative Throckmorton sign. I I've given you all X-rays there on your desk, uh, and all you've got to oh. do is, with your Sharpies, draw a negative Throckmorton sign. Couldn't be easier, really. It's that classic pub quiz question. <laughs> <laughs> no idea, bro. I got nothing. Moving no on. idea at all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. You ready for some answers? Have you drawn yeah. negative? Totally problems? ready. Totally ready for answers. I played you an, an unusual rendition of Champagne Supernova. Uh, it was about a sporting event this summer. What do you think it was about? The storming of the Bastille. <laughs> <laughs> this summer. Oh, OK. That one bit wasn't made clear to me. Uh, he just said, where were you on the 14th of July? Well, I was storming the Bastille, along with the rest of the French peasants. That is maybe the classiest answer we've ever had on the Big Fat Quiz, Dara. Well played. <laughs> Roisin, as in, what, what did you put? We're going to take it a bit more seriously now, because we're coming last. Champions League final? No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Richard, no. What did you put? Cricket. The Cricket World Cup. Yeah. Uh, well, I can tell you that oh. is exactly the right answer, uh, yeah. Point to them. Point okay. to these two. <laughs> World champion Dina Asher-Smith asked you if you know what American player uh, Alex Morgan did to celebrate uh, scoring a goal. Ultimate trolling. She revoked Article 50. <laughs> Wrong answers we've ever had. <laughs> uh, Roisin, Asim. We've got the correct answer. Yeah, we're taking have it very seriously. Very serious. Yeah. She did, uh, like, have a cup of tea. She That's did, right. like, drinking the tea. Uh, Richard, no. We also gave that unfunny correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that is the tea unfunny correct wine. answer. Oh, yeah, wow. okay. She, oh, wow. yeah, there she is, drinking, drinking tea. Well, it's bullshit, clear. though, because she hasn't got a saucer, the fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> but why was that so rude? I think because English people drink tea. Uh, I don't, I mean, was... You're all doing that. You're always all. Nye, 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 nye. You're right. always drinking this. That's a... We all talk about that behind your back. <laughs> Jim, <laughs> control the Irishman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it could have been worse. We could have made the gesture of throwing tea in the harbor. Yeah. It could have been there a lot worse. OK, I asked you what happened when a young footballer met Mo Salah. What did you put? I put, Mo beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in my head is telling me that's not the correct answer. <laughs> OK, what have you got, Roche? We said Mo Salah hit him with a welly. OK, not the case. Uh, and what do you think, Richard? The wrong it? time of the quiz to try and be funny, lads. <laughs> because <laughs> he broke his nose running to meet him. That's the correct answer. He broke his nose. That is the exact correct Thank answer. You. Yes. He saw Mo Salah and then he ran, he ran alongside the cart and ran into a lamppost and broke his nose. Oh. There he is, there he is with Mo oh. Salah and a broken oh, nose. Man. Oh my god. 11-year-old oh, Lewis Fowler there. That, that's a class act right there. Yeah, man, holy shit. But that's, that's a hell of a nose break right Damn, there. Damn, man. Oh, well, meet your heroes, I guess. Yeah, at least that one. At least that one, God. God, God love him. That's not where Mo Salah lives. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you some new trainers. I asked you who Adidas had got to model them. Richard Arwadi, Noel Field, you probably got this. Just couldn't help ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> if, you want, if you want to keep that shoe dry, <laughs> and you want that shoe to stay dry, who better to model it than a man who 
cannot sweat because he's so brave. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Rasheen, as him? We just wrote Charles Dance. We didn't know the answer. We were being silly. OK. <laughs> what, not, not, as, not as silly as the actual answer. Oh, uh, Dara, my... I wrote Dame Judi Dench. <laughs> <laughs> I would argue it is a worse choice for Adidas than Dame Judi Dench. Really? Uh, the model for those trainers is Alan Titchmarsh. No. <laughs> what? Wow. Wow. something called the Gardening Club. Why is he wearing a flat jacket? <laughs> Who's shooting at Titchmarsh? <laughs> Why has he got one little foot and one big foot? <laughs> oh, that's such a good point, though. One They're is completely tiny. completely different size shoes. That's why he got the deal. Well, well that's why he's such gross. a versatile model. He can show what he looks like for children and grown-ups. <laughs> that's the least Exactly. <laughs> OK. Finally, I ask you to draw a negative Throckmorton on Andy Murray's X-ray. OK, this is the negative Throckmorton sign. Uh, it's a sign saying Throckmorton is minus 17 miles back. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Uh, technically, but... I mean, that, that does sound like a place. Like a legit place. Yeah. Like Throckmorton. Yeah, no, we missed it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very good. Richard Noll, I noticed you've just written Lost Keys. No. What? How dare you? Okay, so did you draw the negative Throckmorton? Let's have a look. Yes, it's there. It's like a tennis racket, but... <laughs> There's Ed Sheeran's lost keys. He's been looking for them. We'll get them back to him. There's his swimming pool. Richard did a gun. I don't know why. Why'd you do a gun? Ed Sheeran's okay. gun range. That's the fourth album. <laughs> Roche, I see we're, we're relying on you. Just a dick pic, unfortunately. Oh, no, no. It's, uh, hang on. There's a hip there that's been operated on. Right. And yeah, a so negative there. Throckmorton is a shadow of the penis pointing away from the injury. OK, oh, so, so that's we'll... what you're looking at now, yeah. what you just described. Ah. Well, you get the point, then. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Take that. It's the shadow of his dick? Shadow dick pic. There you go. Oh, wow. So he's packing. If it's all the way at his, his thigh, <laughs> he must be packing. Morton. Negative Throckmorton. Yeah. See, he could have had another career other than, what is it, tennis that he was doing? Who knows? He yeah. could have had another whole career. Man. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in medical parlance, a positive Throckmorton points towards the injury and a negative points away. Oh, okay, Just, good. Yeah. Good, good to know. Oh, well, well. So, uh, Andy's is a negative Throckmorton uh, yeah. sign. He busts that hip. Time for a bonus round. Say what you see. I'm going to show you oh, some God. pictures that spell out news stories from the year that were, Let's frankly, go. too boring to write questions about. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is guess what story uh, they're spelling out. Okay, here's the first one. Write this down, okay. Couldn't be easier. Uh, oh my God. Uh, go. Is that Tom Jones? Yeah. Uh, Thomas, okay. what? Tom ass. Uh, uh, um, cooking, scrambling, go, ego, Thomas, ego tits, Thomas, ego breasts. Eggs. Uh, I see. I see eggs, but maybe it's like cooking. I see. Thomas Cook, green. Thomas light. Cook go. Thomas Cook go. Nude. Thomas Cook goes, go. Goes nude. I have no idea, bro. Uh, that that that. Hey, hey listen. Thomas Cook. Or cooks, I want to say we get a half point. Okay. Because, okay. uh, because, yeah, yeah. Come on. Why not? Okay. Oh, cooks goes when goes bust. <laughs> Thomas cooks goes bust. I don't know what that means, but I want to. I want to hedge my side of our two bets on that. Okay. You get it. There, I'll know when you've got it because there'll be a oh, oh, from the audience. <laughs> Oh, yes. nice. Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. Thomas. Okay, what have what have you got, Richard Noel? Thomas Tom Cook, Cook go, go bust. bust. Tom ass Cook, Cook go, go bust. bust. Okay, that's that's the correct answer. Uh Roche, I see what have you got? Thomas Cook goes bust, brackets, tits up. <laughs> <laughs> correct. And Thomas Cook goes bust. Everyone got it. Okay. Right, oh. next one. We got it. We got it. We pulled it out of our butt. But yep. 
I don't know what the hell that is. Like somebody I have no idea. Who, who's Thomas Cook and why did he go bust? Yeah, what is what what is that? Sounds like a pirate captain from yeah. the ye olden days. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Jumping who's down. the name of the? Oh my okay. god. Elton Bear Cow Stadium Wool Ass uh, Speaker. Uh. Elton or Elton John uh, Bear Cow Stadium. Okay, some sort of stadium. Is that cotton or wool? I don't know. Uh, a speaker. A speaker. A speaker. A speaker. Uh, wool a speaker. Some stadium uh, blew a speaker. Yeah, I want to say that yeah, that something Elton or John John Bear Elton Bear Elton Grizzly John Grizzly, uh, fucking Grizzly no. Cow. I don't know. Uh, fuck it. Uh, okay. Bear Grills. <laughs> Your brain only. Is <laughs> it Bear Grills? Bear Grills. <laughs> That's what he has a Grizzly. I don't know. All right. All right. I don't know. But don't blue know. speaker. There you go. Yeah. Who's the name of the guy who does that? Don't it again. <laughs> Your brain only works the lab. the name of the guy who does. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah. John Burke. Yes. Yes. Oh, speak. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look and see what you got. Maya, what do you think it is? John Burko stands down as speaker. John Burkow stands down as speaker. I think you're overusing the ass motif. <laughs> <laughs> you are, if I may say, hammering that ass. <laughs> Not the first time it's been said. Okay, so what have you got, Richard? Not? John Burko, seat fluff ass. <laughs> <laughs> What? As, as a protest for the overuse of the ass, because that animal has dignity. <laughs> OK, I nil point. Uh, oh, Roche, come on, Roche, Neil. Half. John Burkow's, uh stands, stands down. down as speaker. <laughs> I, I mean, that is some bullshit there, right? I can see John Burko. OK. <laughs> points, no points, no points. Never would have gotten that in a million nope. years. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what that's done to the scores. I can tell you, in last place, Roisin and Asim have 15. Right. Ahead of them, Richard and Noel with 17. In the lead, Dara and Maya with 21. Not that far ahead. It's all still... All right, where are we? 14. 14. So we're... We've been passed. We've been passed. But we're still in third, right? Uh, no. We run it back. The biggest and best quiz we've ever done. And most people... Right, Richard and Maya with 21. And Asim have 15. Oh. Oh, we're last. We got passed. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it! That's oh, right. Well, That's right. Still, we got one or two more rounds, so we yep. we, we can catch up. Oh, we still got our handicaps, so yep. we can catch up. Ahead of them, Richard and Noel with 17 in the lead. Dara and Maya with 21. Not that far ahead. It's all still to play for. Oh. Join us after the break because some people are already saying this is the biggest and best quiz we've ever done. And most people work at the Channel 4 press office. See you in five. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Our next round is all about people. In May, Tory MP Jacob Rees-Mogg's book suffered terrible reviews and poor sales. The problem was, it was way too wordy and had no spine. And then, it wrote a terrible book. <laughs> Rees-Mogg should really go back to doing what he does best, haunting the nightmares of Victorian children. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Whilst promoting his book in October, David Cameron called Boris Johnson a greased piglet, which I think means he likes him. <laughs> in September... Oh. oh! Piglet. Oh, my God. That took me a second. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> piglet, which I think means he likes him. <laughs> in September, Pope Francis got stuck in a lift. When the Pope was finally released, he was made up, just like God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time for some more big fat questions. Um, take a look at this clip of a man who went viral in January. Here he is talking about the fuss that broke out around him. What did he do? 
I'm blown away with the response oh. of the documentary. <laughs> when someone reached out last weekend and said, you're trending, and I'm like, I, I, I don't even know what trending means. People are talking about you. I'm like, oh gosh. And then yesterday, someone's saying, yeah, you're a meme. -y. I'm like, what's a meme? -y? They're like, no, Andy, it's a meme. Oh, did you watch the, uh, the fire festival documentary? Okay. He was the one that, um, he went the extra mile. He offered, uh, to, um, surface somebody as a gay man, uh, to get water for the stranded festival attendees. Oh, wow. And that's, and his, he became a meme after that, um, oh, shit. of someone who would, you know, do some. A shady stuff or something there you go yeah that's my 2019 highlight of yeah. the most shocking shit i've ever seen well don't give it away don't give it away do you want us to say what he did or just what what he did what he did okay in august this year the president of brazil suggested some rather unusual methods for saving the planet one was to eat less can you tell me what the other was i don't know to fuck less to Use these those those straws that save the turtles, but I don't know. Drive, drive less, drink less. Yeah, it could have been anything. Yeah, but yeah, and anything we said uh, would track. Yeah, I mean, eating less would help with the second one, I believe. Shit less in April, Kim Kardashian. Shit less. There you go. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> this would help with the second one, I believe. In April, Kim Kardashian announced she was studying for a new career. All I want to know is, what's her new vocation? Dentist. Dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyer. Lawyer. She's trying to follow in her father's footsteps. Okay. Yeah. You, 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 you write your own joke there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't give it away. Get it down. What tabloid story of the year garnered tweets saying that it was like a modern day episode of Desperate Housewives and prompted Netflix to say, we're going to have to make a documentary about this, aren't we? Oh, I know this. Oh, what was it? What was it then? Well, I know this was what you just said, followed by what was it then? I couldn't get in touch with my memory. <laughs> <laughs> Even you're doing it now. I had to wake it up. <laughs> She's back in the room. Take a look under your desks and you'll find a Ooh. cocktail in a can. This specific cocktail hit the news back in April when someone broke the rules by drinking one. Can you remember who it was and why they were in trouble for doing so? Bonus point if you can also identify the cocktail. It's White Claw. Someone drank White Claw at work. Ain't no laws when drinking claws. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mainly because, you know, it's a new thing and like it's supposed to be seltzer water, but it's actually a. Uh, a seltzer beer. Yeah. Wow. I could imagine if it just came out, no one really kind of understands what it is. Granted, you you buy it at a beer store. Right. 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 I, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. That's awesome, though. If someone yeah. drinks that at work, I'm like, I don't know, man. This, this shit's awesome. <laughs> it's just awesome. And then yeah. just, just they wake up at work the next day. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a nightmare if I wore, <laughs> woke up at work the next day. Yeah. What happened? Oh, according to your work profile, nothing. You did absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I don't remember. <sighs> okay, Dari, you got an answer for this last one? I know. I know oh, my you, cocktails. I mean, you could just taste it. You don't need to swig back half a can. <laughs> okay, all right. I got some answers for you. All got answers? All right. Uh, first up, I wanted to know uh, how this man went viral back in January. So what do you think happened? Maya, this is your favourite. An absolute icon. He went viral because he was ready to suck some dick for water. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe that's a real thing. I can't believe you would ever be in a position in life where someone says, look, we're not getting the water sponsors unless you suck someone's dick. That is crazy. It, but it happened. Crazy. In the fire okay, festival. I, I should explain. It's, it's, it was the fire festival that went wrong, <laughs> and then he wanted water. This isn't post Brexit Britain. It's <laughs> 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 actually a story from next year. Yeah, okay. Uh, Rashid, Asim, did you get it? Yeah. Yeah, we just were a bit more brand specific. <laughs> Suck dick for Evian. Evian. Evian, Evian. Suck dick. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Richard Noll? Yeah, fire festival. He said he would blah, accommodate blah, blah. someone's girth. 
<laughs> Thank you, Richard. Nice. Very nicely it home. put. Thank a little you. touch of class there from Iwadi. OK, <laughs> uh, next I asked you what the president of Brazil suggested as a method for saving the planet. What did you get? He wrote, fuck off to Mars. <laughs> 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 Richard, Noel, what have you put? Originally, deforest Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, th I think he said he only parts. use the toilet every other day. We, oh, you've got Roche and... Uh, we were less. joking. And is that the right answer? We were That's not the right answer. Joking. We literally did. That is the right answer. No, oh, my wow. God! Wow. 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 He basically he suggested that you uh, the people poop every other day. <laughs> yeah. But poop dissolves, no? It goes into the, um, mud. Poop... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, poop dissolves into the mud, sure. It dissolves into the mud. Why don't <laughs> you know, you know the Dara's mud? also interested in science. <laughs> As a leading scientist, poop does dissolve into mud. Uh, <laughs> Maya, what do you, what you, do know you mean what I by mean, that? Like, it, I like, do not you, know what you mean. <laughs> if you shit, it's going to, like, melt into the mud. Like, it doesn't yeah. stay. Where anymore. are you shitting? <laughs> no points, points, points. Question three. <laughs> yeah, we're... No, no way. Oh. It does it dissolve in the mud? So, yeah, I, I I'm gonna be thinking about that a lot longer than I should. Like, oh man, yeah. But shit every other day? Are you kidding me? That's. Do you see the diet of the average American? And because I've been there, the average Brit, that's impossible. Yeah, that I impossible. don't know. Maybe maybe Brazil is just different. Yeah, yeah, like. But come on, they have those Brazilian steakhouses. How do you, how do you shit every other day when it has that kind of diet and no plenty idea. of alcohol? Like, come on, let's they would be have real to stagger. They'd have to stagger the shit dates for it to be effective, or else everyone would be shitting on the other day, which wouldn't yeah. solve nothing. You'd have right. to stagger shit dates. Yeah, brilliant it, concept. It, brilliant concept. Uh, probably zero for execution though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to know what new job Kim Kardashian has announced she's training for. Plumber. <laughs> plumber? You think she's she's a plumber? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, Roche, uh, I say more have you got? She's a lawyer like Roisin. <laughs> okay. Could I add that she is dressed rather like a plunger? <laughs> Uh, Dara, my we what, also what said, you are you, are you a lawyer, yeah. Her dad was a lawyer as well, wasn't he? Yeah, her dad, uh, her dad defended OJ, so that's a wonderful heritage. <laughs> I'm going to say points, points, no points. Oh, OK. We went that's for the thought. joke, Jimmy. OK. I asked you what tabloid story of the year prompted Netflix to say, we're going to have to make a documentary about this. What did you put? Oh, it's... Rebecca Vardy. Rebecca Vardy. Rebecca Vardy. Wagatha Christie. Wagatha Christie, <laughs> Rebecca Vardy. Uh, it looks like everyone got it. Roisin, can you explain the story to me? Why? <laughs> Because <laughs> I think you're good at explaining stuff that always makes me giggle. What happened? Pauline put up lots of photos on Instagram and they kept appearing in the newspapers. On her close on friends. Her, yeah, on her close friends' Instagram. So it was only pri it was a private Instagram page. So they ended up in the newspapers. So then she got it into her head. This is a bit we don't know about the case. Why she suspected Rebecca Vardy up front. I thought she narrowed it down to Rebecca Vardy. Though. No, she, no, she had suspicions. suspicions. And then she, she took, then everyone, she took off. everyone off and yeah, left Rebecca slowly, Vardy. Slowly, she had a process. No, she you? didn't. Just no. Rebecca Vardy. Straight she was, she was straight, straight from in. boom. Everybody, Rebecca yeah. Vardy. You can sense it. And then, you know when there's a snake in the clip. Throw in a nip. So Rebecca Vardy is the only person with viewing access to this Instagram page. And then the great bit is she puts fake stories up like, oh, my teeth fell out or whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Great fake stories. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a bionic arm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bionic arm, she put that, and that appeared in the Daily Mail. Yeah. Yeah. I've, got, I've got to say, for legal reasons, Rebecca Vardy denies all the accusations. Of course she does. Of course. What do you I think, think that's the most genius plan ever, though. And also, how embarrassing that you got caught out that way if she actually did get caught out that way. She might not have did it. I think that should be your tagline as as the law cop. <laughs> she might not have did it. Objection. Give it she space. might not have did it. <laughs> Finally, I gave you a cocktail in a can with which Dara nailed. Um, <laughs> I wanted to know why did someone get in trouble for drinking that cocktail and what was it? What did you put? Oh, Benedict. Um... <laughs> So at first we thought, he thought it was a gin and tonic, but with my 
her super cocktail smells, which yeah. is why I love this girl. I said, <laughs> I said, you guys were an item, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you worked, yeah. We met in the pub. Mm. I uh, sent the mint in it, which gave away the fact that it was, in fact, a mojito. Oh, we think it's a mojito. Yeah. No, this okay. is... Mojito is correct. Pope Benedict is not correct. Oh. Uh, Rishi? We thought it was gin and tonic, but, which is wrong. But, what do, but who do you think got in trouble? Don Abbott. Yeah. Um, we Richard, got no? Labour MP Abbott. And we thought it was gin and tonic, but we I, actually, I read it was an M&S cocktail and it didn't it is, specify. Yeah. It was a mojito, I can tell you. Diane Abbott was on the overground, smashing a mojito and you can't drink on the trains. But yeah. Diane Abbott is right, so points all round. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, the can looked like a lime white claw. Like, yep. come on, come on. But uh, I, I remember when I was coming over for the UK, just planning it, uh, people were warning me that you can't drink on the uh, on the tube, which mm. I was like, "Damn it! I thought y'all yep. had freedom over there." Yeah, I thought it's America. Like, Wait, what? What? That doesn't work here. <laughs> I thought this was Britain. I thought this was Britain. <laughs> uh... <sighs> right, three points. Time now for a special bonus round. I'm going to show you three film posters which have all been subtly improved. All you have to do is tell me what the film is. Here's the first one. Write it down as soon as you see it. What is the film? <laughs> Shit. That's, is... uh, the Elton John thing. Oh, yeah, the Elton John documentary. Uh, yeah. Rocket Man. Rocket yeah. Man. I loved it. <laughs> I look pretty great. I look pretty great. Here's the second one. <laughs> oh, well, Cats. The, the one with... One. That was just bombed. Yeah. Like part of the cast, I remember it was uh, Taylor Swift, James Corden, and Idris Elba. Yeah. Like, ugh, that's that's enough. <laughs> Don't see why there's laughter for that. <laughs> that took hours in makeup. <laughs> okay, Dara. Right. Sorry, what? Right, sorry, I was just oh, sorry, in my Irish accent. He said it's quite good, actually. That's yeah, really good. It's not oh, bad, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's because I act casual about and just say, right, don't fucking look at me like that, you twat. <laughs> wow. How long have you guys been dating? Because you've really picked that up fast. <laughs> they turn into each other after a while. Yeah, yeah. He's got some I extensions think... backstage. <laughs> So she, she now speaks like you, and you'll be shitting in a hole, presumably. <laughs> oh. My mum always tells me, be classy on telly, and it never happens. Yeah. Talking about shits this time. Like... Oh, your mum was great, though. Tell us the story of the time. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh. Oh. She looks quite sexy. OK. All right, and then, and then the third one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Is that, uh, oh man, uh, they talked about some film that Olivia Col Col Coleman was in, but that, that uh, wasn't it. Probably, no, it probably was. Probably was. That probably was it. Yeah. I just I, don't know what that movie was. Yeah, yeah. At first, I, I was going to say like Cinderella, but that's not it. No. no. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Be still my beating heart. Look at that. It's laughing at me and you. All right. Were well, you dressed like that in your house before now? <laughs> I had to get changed into this. Okay. You got answers? Okay. Here's the first one. Uh, what did you put? Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Okay. Well, you're absolutely right. I was uh, Taron Egerton in Rocket Man. Okay. Points all round on that first one. Okay. What's the next one? There we go. <laughs> what have Did you got? We were a freaky cat. fever dream because oh, you think that's what it is. It's so weird, that thing. That whole thing is weird. I don't want to give it its name. It's awful. Roisin, ask him, what have you got? Yeah, cats. It's weird because the cats have tits. Yeah. <laughs> that's cats have tits. tits. That's not the weird. Cats have tits. No, but not no, like they breasts. Go, not they like have breasts, nipples. Do they? Yeah. They have They've added cards. Nips and bones. Richard, yeah. no, you got this? These are page three cats. Yeah, we have cats. <laughs> okay. Cats. Let's have a look, but I think exactly. I look better. Yeah. Jimmy, look. you look good as a cat with yeah. tits. Yeah, as a cat, it looks like yes. Yeah, yeah, that was Taylor Swift as a cat. Nice. Have a look, but I think exactly. I look better. Yeah, Jimmy, but... you look good as a cat with yeah. tits. Yeah, as a cat, it looks like you. I forget, what's the famous song from the film, from the musical cat? I can't remember, Dara. What, Roshi, do you remember what the what famous song from the movie is? Yes, I do. What is it? Because I have a great memory. <laughs> Cats don't look weird not wearing bras. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got the trail for the show. 
<laughs> Last one. Dara, what did you think this was? Blade Runner 2049. Yeah. <laughs> So close, Dara. It really was. So very close. It, it looks like it. <laughs> so, Roche, Asim. Uh, Downton Abbey, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's Richard Knoll. The weirdest Nol. episode of yes. Poirot ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got Downton Abbey. Okay, it is Downton Abbey, not Blade Runner 2049. Oh, so close. Ah, <laughs> uh, if they had just shown Ma 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 Maggie Smith, I would have gotten that one. Man. But, oh well. That's two out of three. Yeah. Uh, what, where, 19. What's it? 19, okay, okay, okay. Downton Abbey. Okay, it is Downton Abbey, not Blade Runner 2049. Oh, so close. <laughs> well, let's see what that's done to the source. Uh, I can tell you that uh, in last place, currently, uh, Roisin and Asim have 23 oh. points. Oh. Just one point ahead, Richard and Noel with 24. Mm. Only okay. two points ahead of them, Dara and Maya. It's all still to play for. <laughs> Join us after the break, when this lot will be answering more questions than Rebecca Vardy on Twitter. For the final part of the Big Fat Quiz 2019, in January, McDonald's was forced to apologise after chicken was found in their veggie wraps. The trouble is, if chicken finds its way into one of those veggie wraps, there's a small chance it might end up being delicious, and the vegetarians would not like that. <laughs> Emma Watson has announced she's self-partnering, which sounds like she's going to spend more time getting to know her chamber of secrets. <laughs> Best vagina joker in the business. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There is no one who finds more comic mileage in the vagina than Jimmy Carr. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. OK. Four stars. <laughs> OK, as a treat for the last round, I've got a snack. I've Ooh. got snacks for everyone. Was You've just like got to tell me why one. this snack made the news. <clears throat> Get involved. Oh, one each. Dangerous. Here's Morgan spat these out. Can I eat it, really? Why did these... Yeah, you can eat. Why did these make the news? Are they veggie? Yeah, you're fine. Uh, well, that may be the answer, Roshi, so I don't know. <laughs> mm, but with this cold stuff, you really spoil us, Ambassador. <laughs> OK, so they're, they're sausage rolls that were sold earlier this year, and they made the news. Why? I think that tracks, that it, that's vegetarian. Um, cause... Oh, we heard about that, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And people was warning me before I went over. Uh, I never tried a vegan or vegetarian sausage roll because I didn't want to be disappointed. And, you know, because uh, the irregular sausage roll was just so delicious, I didn't want to chance it. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. We're going to go vegan. That's yeah. it. That's a great. That's 100%. And this is the only time we're going to go vegan. Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen. Uh, OK. The Royal Air Force relaxed their rules this year by allowing personnel to alter their appearance. Do you remember what the rule change was? Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Hello? They could grow beards? The Royal Air Force could grow beards. I, I would say... Uh, yeah, sure. I, I don't think that... I want to have my bets on long hair. OK. All right. Yeah. Loud. A report released this year stated that more than 320,000 Britons can be labelled slashies. Idris Elba is a slashy, Victoria Beckham is a slashy, Maya, you're a slashy, what is a slashy? Slashy. A slashy? Uh, uh, we, we've got two handicaps left. Yeah. I'm going to use one of them now. We'll probably use it at the, uh, at the end as well. What is the slang term slashy in Britain? Let's see. Um, I'm I'm getting a lot of uh, <laughs> different words here. Hmm. S -s very romantic. Uh, I'm just gonna type it. Slashy UK slang. I don't know. I don't know. We, we probably, uh, I, I, I'd say like very, very uh, attractive. Very, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can tell you, but he's not someone that shits in a hole outside. <laughs> okay, next. 
I want to know what audacious theft at Blenheim Palace rocked the art world and left the police with nothing to go on back in September. Oh. I'll need the specifics here. <laughs> in March, a fashion item made from denim hit the headlines. They were called janties and were described as the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Underneath your desks are some denim jeans. You got some scissors. All I want you to do is cut the denim to make them into what you think a janty would look like. Okay, so Jan. Oh, Janty, like a panty, like I, I would say, like 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 very short booty shorts, like ultra Daisy Dukes. Yeah, ultra Daisy Dukes, like wow, like, not leaving a lot to the imagination. Oh my God! Okay. Yeah. Panties. I'm making. I don't know about you, look. But I'm making Janty. a bra for a cat. <laughs> <laughs> might start doing this after a hard day in court. <laughs> Wind down, you know, get the grime out of my mind. <laughs> get the grime out of your mind. You know, <laughs> grim. <laughs> now she's cutting it. She may not have did it. <laughs> Everyone finished, let's have some answers. Okay, I wanted to know what was unusual about the delicious sausage roll I gave you. Vegan. It was a vegan sausage roll sold by Greg's. Richard, no, what did you write? Vegan. <laughs> vegan, Jimmy. We wrote vegan and then I put cats with tits. <laughs> what did you get, Roche? Vegan sausage roll. Okay, great. Vegan. All right. So points, points, points. Dara, what do you think the the change was that the Royal Air Force brought in this year? Uh, you can fly a plane and drag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Rajin, that's him. Are you allowed to wear wigs? <laughs> okay, uh, Richard Noel. Laugh it up, lads. Beards. Beards. <laughs> They're going <laughs> for the win. Up, They're going for the win that's late. Right. You know they are. You sneaky. Oh, is that right? No fun. No fun from now on. <laughs> it is beards. The Royal Air Force has right. beards for the first time this year. I asked you if you knew what a slashy was. What's a slashy? Well, we know what it is, but yeah, they shit in the woods. <laughs> uh, <it's>... They shit <laughs> in the woods. In the woods, but it's, yeah, it's it's double jobbers like herself. Who... Double jobs. Okay, yeah. I'll give you that. Uh, what, Roisin, Asim. Yeah, Renaissance people. Lots of doing lots of different things. Okay, perfect, good answer. Uh, Richard, no? Multiple careers slash jobs. No funny answers from you now. No. Nothing, All Jimmy. business. It All business. Over here. <laughs> multiple jobs? Like multiple so, careers? Okay. So, so, renaissance person, like we said. Renaissance say. person or a, a hustler. Yeah. Someone like that. Okay, points all round. It'll be the miracle of Christmas if we win. <laughs> okay, I asked you what audacious theft at Blenheim Palace rocked the art world. What's your put? Gold toilet. <coughs> Let's go through. Gold toilet. Gold toilet. Keep it moving. Gold toilet. Gold toilet. Gold toilet. Not even messing around. No. Roshi, Let's move it you've on. just written toilet, but you have you had to have gold to get the point. Why did I have to have gold? Because it was a gold toilet. That you was said stolen. it was really real. Oh yeah, here's the picture. That's a solid gold toilet. Just a little bit of business here. They didn't uh, match in the toilet holder, so oh. a little bit embarrassing there. They went for a chrome. <laughs> <laughs> a bit embarrassing. That is a little bit embarrassing. Yeah, that toilet was worth. 4.8 million pounds. Wow. Uh, Dara, did you get this? We got big gold toilets, yeah. Big gold toilets were sold. Artist called Kitana, uh, the uh, stoolless toilet. 4.8 million. <laughs> yep. Okay, I mean, you got that entirely right. Well done, you. Right, okay. Um, I then asked you if you could fashion a pair of uh, what I like to call janties. Uh, Noel, did you make some janties? Yep. Okay, Go let's on, have a look at your janties. Pretty happy with that. They are. Oh, there he is. He's up there. <laughs> Those are some janties. <laughs> 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 That's a, I'll give you a point for that. Here's a model wearing some janties. I think they're quite nice, though. I would okay. actually object yeah, and say them. that those weren't actually janties. Those are more of a hot pants. Well, that's, I mean, he's cut them very high. He's, this is a janty. No. That's a janty. This is a janty. I'm giving him a point for that. It's a janty. That is a hell of a janty. You've got to get the cheese out. Well, now, what's that? A shark attack, Roisin? <laughs> <laughs> if you're busy and you've only had time to shave one leg... <laughs> Asim, have you got anything? Did you do? I didn't, I didn't know what they were, but I just thought, like, you know how ladies have cleavage? Yeah. I thought, well, us boys should be able to have a bit of ball cleavage now and again. So <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> it's like only one ball is popping out. I love that. Uh, Maya, oh, you've already got a point. Uh, Richard, Noel, you've got a point. Uh, okay, so we said Daisy Duke, yep, so yep. give us the point. Yep. That's three points from this round. What are we up to going into the final? 22, man. 22, got it. Uh, you guys, I can't give you a point for that. Whereas I went for much more. This, this seems like thing. I'm ready for business. He did his own But I'm also ready for the night. Uh, Turn around. Uh, can I see? Can Turn I, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God.
I said it earlier. Woo! I said earlier, I said your team was called Beauty and the Beast, and I was right, Darren. Yeah. You're a fabulous figure of a man. <laughs> okay, let's check in. All right, before we get to the scores, I just uh, had a little connection thing come out. Uh, are we good? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Cool, cool, cool on the scores before we do our big fat question okay uh with 25 way behind Please. roshin and asim have oh, 25 points oh. uh, richard and Noel have 29 points just one in the lead dara and maya will they hold on to the lead oh, yeah. all right so within we're within striking distance usually there's a lot of points on the table yeah. for these last ones so hopefully my googling skills won't screw me over like they did in the last one yes a really very true the question here yep uh, finally, time for the big fat question. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome star of this year's Strictly Come Dancing, Mike Bushell. Jesus, could you please have some dignity? <laughs> I loved it. I love. He's jealous. I loved it. It was great. Okay, so you've got our big fat question. Tell us what is the question? What is the question? Well, so what I want to know is what was the biggest selling film at the UK box office, the most watched sports event, and the best selling single in the UK this year? Two points. Two points for each. Points for each. Ten bonus points and if you get them all right. Telly, sporting event on telly. On telly. British television. British television. Okay, okay. Here's where we use the handicap. Yep. Get it up there. So it's the highest grossing film in the UK, mm -hmm. the most watched sporting event in the UK, and, oh, God, what was the third one? Uh, The... Single. The highest, yeah. yeah. The, the highest selling single. What was the number one grossing film in the UK box office in 2019? Uh, Avengers Endgame. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't think that was just UK, but yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. But, but this just UK stuff. So, okay. Uh, most watched sporting event. What was the most watched sporting event in the UK in 2019? Women's football. <laughs> uh, the 2019 Cricket World Cup. Cricket World Cup, damn. Yeah. What was the highest selling single in the UK in 2019? Someone You Loved by Lewis Capaldi. Okay. All right. Hopefully, my Googling skills are not shabby. We've, we've gotten these wrong before, guys. We have, yeah. The handicap don't mean shit. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Here we go. Television, biggest sporting event and the biggest single of the year. How was it on Strictly? Did you have fun? Oh, it was the best experience I've ever had. I mean, to, to slide down the biggest pole in Strictly history, what an honor. <laughs> <laughs> and what, okay. and you, you've gone through to eight weeks, right? Yeah, I, yeah, oh, I was and, surprised. And I think your marriage survived it, so well done. <laughs> <laughs> that normally doesn't happen. That's the real victory there. The marriage survived! Yay! 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 Were there any nerves at home? Because I imagine if I came home and went, I'm going on Strictly, it'd be the same as me going, I want a divorce. <laughs> No, we talked about it before, and Emily, my wife, met Katia. They got on better than we did, actually. They talked more than I did. Really? Yeah, they, they, they were great. <laughs> well, I'm going to interpret that in a very different way. <laughs> All right, so have you all got answers? OK. So the biggest movie at the box office this year in the UK. Yeah, you've got Dara, Maya? Uh, Avengers Endgame. Absolutely correct. Uh, Roisin, Asim? Avengers Endgame. OK. Richard, Noel? Avengers. Endgame. <laughs> Avengers Not messing Endgame. around at all. Okay, the uh, most watched sporting event in the UK. What do you think, Dara? Uh, Champions League final. <gasps> incorrect. Oh, my Cricket. God. Incorrect. Well, cricket was incorrect. It wasn't Cricket was incorrect. What did you guys get? It was rugby. The rugby was the most Jimmy. watched sporting event. My wow. spelling <laughs> is shocking, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the, the biggest <laughs> song of the year. <laughs> Richard, <laughs> no. Billie Eilish? No. Roisin, that's it. 
Les Oches. So you think it's an answer that we had earlier, we might be doing again. Oh, I'm sorry, you could use the same name twice in a show over you... nine hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, my Abdara. I felt so under pressure with this because, obviously, I should know, but... First of all, I went with Old Town Road, but then I realised it was UK, <laughs> and I always remember Lewis Capaldi being at the top of the charts for a long, 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 long time. So I've gone with oh, Lewis yeah. Capaldi. So. I went for Old Town Road to be honest. So that was my big. Oh, well, my, I got it absolutely bloody right. Yeah. yeah. Lewis Capaldi. Yeah. Well, let's see what it's done for the scores. So. Okay, uh, so we got four points. Four. From that. So we are at twenty-six. Twenty-six. Damn, That's son. our final score. We probably didn't even place. Let's just see. Uh, in last place, and rightly so, Roisin and Asim, 27 points. Oh, oh. Mr. Fire Point. Mr. Fire Point. Damn. The winners are Richard Arwani and Mill Fielding. But the worthy winners of the Big Bang Quiz of the Year 2019, Dara Lara. There's your trophy. Oh, there Thanks to our amazing panel, our special guests. Thanks to all of you at home for watching. This has been the Big Bang Quiz of 2019. Thank you, Jimmy Carr. Good night. Well, look, we were competitive throughout the entire thing. We did. We, we and and we have fun with our little point systems that we got, you know. Yeah, but yeah. hey, as you guys, as we said before, because we have a handicap, does that does not mean we're gonna make that uh, handicap uh, use it into our favor at all ever. We are our own worst enemies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But hey, um, so the next two up are uh, there's a big fat quiz of everything 2020, and then there's also a big fat quiz of the decade uh, 2010s. These were all before the pandemic happened. So okay. um, yeah, that's what we got next up. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Wow. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, watch another video. Thanks, channel members. Thanks, patrons. What now, Danda Man? Unplug and do something legendary, guys. And we'll see y'all next time. Later.